good evening and welcome to World Gun News, your roundup of the good, the bad and the ridiculous in the world of firearms. It's Wednesday the 3rd of May 2023 and I'm your host, a middle-aged Brit. Sadly today, on just our second day on air, we bring you a special report. There has been this morning an atrocious shooting at a Serbian school in the capital, Belgrade, that has left nine dead and a further seven injured. A 13-year-old boy is under arrest, having seemingly methodically planned this attack carried out with his stolen father's 9mm handgun. Early police reports suggest that this attack has been planned for upwards of one month, with a detailed plan of ingress and exit along with a list of specific targets. It is our understanding that the attack occurred at approximately 8.40 this morning, the suspect entering the school, shooting a security guard, and according to witnesses, entering his classroom, shooting a history teacher before turning the gun on his classmates. The BBC had a report from a father of one of the boy's surviving classmates who explained that the shooter had been a quiet and good pupil who had recently joined the class. With this being the first event of this nature in Serbia, it goes without saying that the whole country is shocked and naturally the parents of all children in the school were absolutely devastated and terrified. We of course send our deepest condolence to those who have lost loved ones in this attack. However, we believe emotion will not serve our reporting, and as such we will concentrate on the detail that we have available. The Serbian government have declared a three-day mourning period across the country from Friday the 5th of May. Now, the last thing I want to do is appear heartless. The loss of lives, and especially those of children, is appalling. However, it would be remiss of me not to mention certain details which have come to light. As I previously mentioned, the boy arrested has recently joined the class and due to the law in Serbia at the age of 13, he is not considered criminally responsible. He cannot be charged with a crime. While Serbia does have a high number of firearms per capita, an event like this has never occurred before. And given that this is an isolated incident, and there are so many unregistered firearms in Serbia. Immediate calls for gun control in the country do seem somewhat disingenuous. The boy's father and mother have both been arrested, the father on suspicion of aggravated endangering of public safety. I do not currently have the details of the charges brought against his mother, but it's clear that the authorities are taking this seriously and will pursue. We've spoken on this channel before about the ongoing agenda of gun control in the West, and it's with this in mind that we make this report tonight. I suspect it will not make the mainstream news in the UK or USA. It's shameful that this event will go unnoticed by most of the world, despite the fact eight children have lost their lives. We think this shows the absolute hypocrisy of those in power who will use nasty events to serve their agendas. But when it happens somewhere else or it doesn't help them, they have nothing to say. Let me reiterate that our hearts go out to all those in Serbia touched by this tragedy, and we hope and pray for the swift recovery of the injured. I will be keeping a close eye on this story in the coming days and weeks to see how things progress from here. Just a, a quick whip round of a few updates for you. Happily, the suspect from the Texas shooting uh, in the last few days, Francisco Oropisa, has been captured, apparently found hiding in a cupboard under a pile of laundry. Sheriff Capers gave a statement saying he will be living out his life behind bars, and I should hope so too. The Colorado man who came up with the Biofire Technologies biometric gun has successfully launched his product today and it's now available for pre-order. 
The handgun, which uses a fingerprint sensor to activate, is intended to ensure that only those entrusted to use a firearm will be able to do so. This should ensure safety. However, my experience with fingerprint sensors on mobile phones and such were suggest this may be a little hopeful. A handgun is something you want to work when seconds count. I suspect the market will be the judge. So I'm sorry I can't bring anything much brighter than that today, but at least the asshole down in Texas is behind bars. Thanks, as always, for coming along and listening. And if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a little thumbs up. It helps us no end. We'd be extremely grateful. Of course, we'll welcome feedback, so drop us a comment. And until next time, my best wishes to you. Just a short one tonight. You stay peaceful.